what's up guys hope you all are having an amazing day welcome back to the channel in today's video i'm going to be doing something different something that i have been wanting to do for a while um it's kind of an exercise to give myself to be able to get some photos that I can print or get myself into doing more printing. So I'm not going to talk much. I just want you to enjoy this video. So enjoy. So I am on my way to pick up Ezra. Um, maybe his girlfriend Kaya will join us, but we are going to be driving to Cleveland. Um, Ezra mentioned there is a lighthouse there I have never been I, I have seen photos of it on Instagram by some Columbus and Cleveland photographers but I have personally never been there um, so this evening was right after I finished exporting last week video um, I messaged Ezra if he wanted to go out and take some photos around somewhere and it's kind of uh, a bit boring here in um, Columbus. Actually, I live in Pickerington, and Ezra lives around um, Columbus. We all live around Columbus. So when it comes to going to take photos, it's we are very, very limited to locations. So he suggested we go to Cleveland um, to this lighthouse to take the photos. So. That is where we are going. That is where we will be going. I'm on my way to pick up Ezra right now at his place. And we will be on our way. But today the goal is to get at least one photo that I can print. Um, I've been wanting to do something like this for a while where I will go out specifically to get at least one photo to print so i think today is the day i'm starting that uh, project or mission so i have with me uh, ilford um, auto plus 80 and then uh, because i'm thinking of doing some long exposure in 120 and then i have portra 400 in 35 that i will be loading in my leica um, and then I also have with me a Fuji slide film. I can't really remember exactly what it is, but it's a Fuji slide, uh, slide film that is expired. I think on the date on it, it says 2001 to 2003. So I'm guessing that is the date on it. That means that is how long it's been expired. Um, I'll be shooting that to see how that also um, come out I don't know I don't know if I'll be shooting it or not depending on the time that we will have um, sunset is supposed to be around 8.42 and it is 5.33 right now so and the weather uh, I don't know it, it looks a little bit overcast so we will see we will see depending the reason why I picked up these three films is I didn't want to take Portra because I love shooting black and white and I also chose to go with the auto, auto plus because I was thinking I'll be doing a long exposure and that would be great for long exposure instead of taking uh, HP 5400 so that is the reason why i chose those films and then i went with portra 400 with the leica is um with the leica because if i'm going to be shooting black and white with my hustle blood that is what i'm taking i have my hustle blood and my leica with me um i i'm i just have to also oh i also want to have something that i could take color so that 
I don't come home beating myself up about not being able to take color photos. So I'm just kind of like balancing the Portra 400 with the um, black and white photos that I want to go take. So I am pretty excited about that. Um, I don't know how the scene is going to be, so I have not loaded any of the film. I want to get there and then analyze the scene and see which film will be good for the condition that we find ourselves. So stick around and enjoy the rest of the video. Just got here, but I I think we came too late. Um, I don't know. Have to rush in and take these shots. Um, I loaded the auto uh, 80, so we will see. Well, as you guys seen, I was getting dark pretty fast, and one thing that I wasn't expecting. I kind of had the idea that it was going to be cold, but I wasn't expecting it to be that cold. It was super cold that my ear was aching. Like that is how cold it was. I took just five photos and that was it. It was getting dark pretty fast. It was cold. I had to go into the car and warm up, warm up as quick as I can. Um, that was it. Took just five photos, came home and developed it i didn't want to go out and finish the row because it is raining almost every single day after that day so i just went straight ahead and developed it because i also couldn't wait to see the photos that i got so the film is finally dry um this is not the best led panel to use but this is what i use i mean it does the job um when anytime I want to check it, I got this yesterday um, to be able to check my negatives. Um, but I think I will finally someday or in the future get an actual LED panel because with this, I can see the pixels in the screen from the iPad. Um, this is an app that I'm using. So, um, it works it, it helps me to preview my scan uh, my, my my negatives before I even scan them so this is the negatives like I talked about I was so um, eager to see these photos that I didn't even finish the roll so this is just five shots that I took so if we check here everything looks good good man the details in this is awesome like I can see all these writings on the sign the details is just awesome let me look at this one sorry for bumping into the camera uh, yeah this is awesome I can't wait to scan it so let's jump onto the computer and then scan it so we have the negatives here um like i showed you guys earlier on let me get my gloves so we can start scanning i don't want this video to be too long but i also didn't want to or don't want to make it a part one and part two version of videos um i'm not really I like it when people do it and they do it good but I don't know I don't know if I want to do that so I'm gonna try to do everything in one single video so I have here my Canon 9000 F Mark II um, I bought this from my friend Sean uh, previously I was using an Epson um, 
D500 and it was giving me decent results, but I wasn't able to use the software on my um, computer because the version wasn't working with the new uh, Mac OS. So I had to use my um, Windows computer that I had. So I am finally glad that I bought this from Sean and now I can just do everything on here um, without having to use two systems. So that's awesome. So let's load the film in here. Um, get the blow already. So let's load this film in here. Close it up. Blow it up. Um, previously when I started shooting film, we didn't have a dog. So when scanning, I didn't have to pay attention to dog hair or pet hair anywhere. But recently I've been realizing that I've been getting hairs on my scans. I don't want any dog hair on on here so it's already on let's jump into the computer and open the software so when you come here this is not a tutorial um, I just wanted to I have always wanted to make an episode where I go out create photos at least come home with one that I'm satisfied with and then come and print it and you know just to have it just to have the print so this is not a tutorial this is not how to scan black and white this is not how to use the canon uh, 9000 f mark ii i like i said i am not that technical we will hit preview wait for a second to let it preview and this compared to what i used to have this is really fast this is really fast so as you can see it's already given me a preview and selected an area where it thinks is the photo. Um, initially, I used to get it on all of the photos. It would automatically bring pop up the boxes, but now I have to click on this little icon here and then it will select three of them. And then I'll have to come in and adjust it and crop it as I want it to be. So after I have selected, I was click on the first one um, this four little boxes here I'll select all of it and then hit scan and it's going to scan straight to the folder that I created which is very good so the scan is done all I have to do is just close this it's gonna say processing please wait for a few moments and as this is going on I can just open this and take it out the program that I use into converting my negatives is negative lab pro. Um, I, when I, when I started shooting a lot of color, I was having difficulty converting my colors and my friends recommended that to me, even though I still sometimes don't get my colors that good. I still need a lot of learning to do, but if you follow me on my color Instagram, um, the film digits, you, all the photos there that's what I use in converting including uh, my recent black and white so we will go in um, I think you can go into file and all of that but I'd, I've never done that because I know once you hit control and N on Mac um, on PC I don't know what you will hit but on Mac control and N it'll bring it uh, go into the color model choose black and white and then just hit convert negative and that's it
as you see in the time lapse done editing the photos done cropping um, like I said I didn't want this video to be too long even though it's and turning up to be which it's scaring me a little bit but I hope you guys enjoy this and understand so um, I have go ahead it was tough some was very simple to do but it was tough for me to choose which one I really like to print um, I ended up going with this one right here and then um, this oh, not this one this very first one right here and the reason why I chose these two photos I think even though it's the same location they can still go together is this is a little bit tighter on the lighthouse um, it's very tight on it and you have this log of um, leading you into the shot and then you have this rocks here going in as well and then this tree on the left here is kind of like balancing the composition because without it I don't think I would have liked it that much um, the other thing that I don't like about this photo um, or the, um, the, the things that I wish it could be different is I wish these trees that are back here I wouldn't have mind that much with this one but these trees that are back here I wish they were in there um, but it doesn't really bother me that much but still I wish they weren't there this tree I, I, I like that it's there I even wish it was a little bit shifted to the left but it's still good um, so I ended up going with this because it's very tight I have two shots two shots of the same um, angle like this it is this and that but I chose the other one instead of this because sorry for bumping into the mic because the log in the other one is a little bit bigger and it cuts right from the corner and lead you into it and I have more rocks on the on the right hand side leading you into the lighthouse um, and then because the lighthouse had those lights that like spins if I don't know if you guys can see but if I zoom in here and bring this down you can see there's a line white line going through here and that is the light that is like flashing if it was color you will see what I'm talking about um, I can take that out but I don't want to um, I just wanted to I, I want it there so I I will know in the future I want to come back to it it is that it was the light and the light was working so I'll keep this photo for myself but for now I'm not going to print this one um, so I ended up going with the first one here and to prepare it for printing I have added more contrast to it um, even though you can still see more details in the shadow areas um, but yeah I wanted the photo to have pure black you can see gray and then white so it has all those uh, shades of uh, gray in in the photo which is really really nice when you have a photo like that so that is what made me chose this and then because I shot like I said five photos and um, they are all good but two of those two of the photos really really was strong among the five so I decided to print two and so the other one that I went with is this one which is also a larger view um, of where the lighthouse it kind of give you um, more story um, to the photograph so with the first one that I showed it's a more tighter it's more concentrated on the rocks the the lake uh, in the background the lighthouse and the trees but this gives you a little bit more contest so it shows you that there is a, a way that you if if looking at looking at the previous photo um, you could you couldn't tell how to get to the lighthouse you might think it's like way into the ocean or the lake or somewhere like that um, but with this photo it tells you like it's right there and you can walk right to it and you have the sign right here and if I zoom on it you can really read what it says on it it says uh, Mar Marblehead Lighthouse uh, donated by the Ohio Department of Parks and 
uh i think recreation they were higher department of natural resources 1821 so you can read what is there so which is really good um to have so that's why i ended up choosing this photo as well so we're going to go ahead and pre make it final preparation to print so what i do when i'm about to print is i know what size my printer can print i know the paper that i have um i'm going to be printing it on a 17 by 22 um but i cannot the widest i can print is 17. so what i'm going to do is i will print this at 16. sorry i keep bumping into this because the mic is right here um I'm going to print it as 16. That's the widest I want to print because I want to have that white border um, around it. So what I would do is I'm going to go ahead and merge these layers. And I am going to go and create a new, um, new background. And as you guys can see right here, I already have a selected 17 by 21. I have created a bunch of it. I also have a 13 by 19 paper, um, but I'm gonna choose the 17 by 22 inch white, uh, 16 bit, everything good. Just create this. And then what I do is I will come into the photo that I want to print. I'm going to be printing this one first. I will come in the image size and I will resize it to 16 by 16. So 16 by 16. Um, and I always, I, I, I always like it when I have my, the white in the photo to be slightly off. Um, so you can tell the difference between the paper and the photo. So I have this ready. Uh, we're going to do the same thing for, um, the other the other photo so we'll go ahead and create mostly I will just print this and then come back and then take just delete the photo from here and add the, the other one but for the sake of this video let's create another blank um, background go into where is it I think it's this one okay so because I want it to be that close so let's move it Oop. Let's move it closer to this background. Okay, it's right here. So we will. I will merge. Uh, I will merge this. Unlock it. Move it into. Oh, sort of. Sorry, I forgot to. Never mind. I forgot to resize. So we come here, resize it to 16 by 16, change the resolution to 300. So click OK. And then now we can take it, bring it in here, and then just snap it into place where it's supposed to be right there. So now we have a 17 by, 7, uh, 17 by 22 inch paper let's go ahead i think i'm just gonna print this one first so i'm going to go ahead and merge these i like it that way um let's go to the other one and merge that too and then go back to the first one okay so it looks good so far i'm going to turn my printer on and then to print, I always have to move this uh, so I can have the tray come out. This is it. This is the size. Um, I'm going to go ahead and grab the paper real quick. But before that, let me put on let me put on my gloves, and we will move the camera here in a bit to start the printing. Put in my paper. Make sure it is straight. Uh, 
paper is everything i've already pr i've already printed this uh the same paper so everything is already set in here so i'm just gonna hit okay and then i'm just gonna hit print <laughs> Alright guys, so that is it for the video. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. If you made it this far, thank you so much. I know this video is so long. Um, I will try as much as possible to to make it simple, make it short. Um, but if you made it this far, thank you. As you have seen, um, this looks beautiful. Like I will personally put this on my wall. You know we, we we photographers we go out there create some photos and sometimes we want to sell it to people but if you print a work or if you create a photo that you personally will not put in your home then you don't have to expect somebody else to put it in their home but yeah this is beautiful like I uh, uh, yeah the, I will print I will print this again um, one will be for sale and then we'll probably um put one in my heart in my house either in the here in the office or somewhere in the house I, I have filled my whole house with my own photos so i barely have any more space but i'm pretty excited about this one as you guys are seeing they came out really 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 great um so this looks good if you would like to purchase this very photo, um, head over to my Instagram, kbwatin underscore street and DM me there and I will ship this to you. It's gonna be a limited um, edition print. So if you want this print, DM me. Let's talk about that. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. Until the next video, go hit the street maybe somewhere in the mountains to the ocean if you are allowed to wherever you are create some beautiful photos and share with us all and you don't forget always create to inspire see you guys in the next video